Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 810 for technical and vocational schools. It is lesson, uh, it is unit six, lesson two, adjective clauses. All right. Now, uh, in order for us to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project success three, student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. All right, let's jump to lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use adjective clauses in writing sentences. So, let me ask you, what is an adjective clause? Let me show you with an example. I picked up the papers. Now, I would like to use an adjective clause to add it to this sentence. I say, that fell off the desk, full stop. Let me show you with a different example. The book gap is very interesting. The book is very interesting. As you see, it is a full sentence. It is perfectly fine. But I would like to add an adjective close to it. I say, which he wrote, the book, which he wrote is very interesting. You see, the sentence has been extended now. A third example, the doctor is very nice, full stop. This is perfectly fine sentence. Let's add an adjective close. I say, the doctor who works at the clinic is very nice. So, adjective closes, okay? Adjective clauses are used to describe or identify a noun, such as these. Papers, book, doctor, all right? In a sentence, and give it more information, that fell off the desk, or which he wrote, or who works at the clinic. So, let me introduce the relative pronouns. The first one is that. What, who, which, whom, whose, when, where, and why. There are about nine of them. All right. So, relative pronouns. The pronouns again, you remember them. The first one, what. It means things. You are asking about things. Or you are referring to things. Which you are referring to animals and objects who you are referring to people but in a form of a subject whom again people but in a form of an object that you are referring to people things and animals whose possessions why reasons where places when time all right, adjective closes, relative pronouns as subject. Okay, this is how you build the sentence. You, you start with the subject plus a relative pronoun plus a verb plus a complement to the close of the relative close and then a verb plus a complement. As you see, the main sentence is subject, verb, if you can see it here, plus the complement. This is the shortened version of the sentence. Now, if you add the relative close, it should be this. Relative pronoun, verb, plus the complement. Let's check with an example. So, subject, the man, and then he, uh, or the man, came over. All right, this is the main sentence. I add the relative uh, close. I say, who, which is a relative pronoun, lives next door. I say, the man who lives next door came over. Let's check with a different example. The company, which is a subject, is small. All right? Let's introduce a relative close. I say, that, you see, to things. Makes this coffee. The company that makes this coffee is small. All right, let's change to the letters, which is in plural. Okay, are essential add a relative close. I say that 
were delivered here. The letters that delivered here are essential. Okay? Let's change to people. The people can start. You see, I, uh, in the form of verb, I, I use the model. You say, can start. Right? So I say, the people who brought their IDs can start. The people who brought their IDs can start. These uh, pronouns are as subject. All right. Let's have a task. So, fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. Number one. The doctor gap was open, is uh, made of wood. The door was open, is made of wood. Now answer that and you have five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is which or that. You have the option to choose which or that. All right? Okay. So if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Let's jump to two. The person gap just came here is my cousin. You have to use a relative pronoun. Five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is who or that. You have the option of choosing who or that. All right, let's jump to the third example. The lady gap, bag is yellow, passed by the office. Use a relative pronoun. Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is whose, the lady whose bag, this is possessions, possession, whose bag is yellow, passed by the office. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. All right, adjective closes relative pronouns as objects. Okay, we start with the subject and then a relative pronoun as object. Okay, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Now, this is the, uh, the adjective close. You, you know that because it is between parentheses. Okay, plus the verb, plus complement. Okay, so we start with the same examples as before. So the man came over, the same sentence. Now I'm going to introduce the adjective close, but as an object. Okay, I say, whom? Do you notice that I use the, uh, the pronoun as an object? Okay, the man whom? I. I have to use a subject here. For example, I. Say, the man whom I talked to. I talked to the man. The man is object in here. Before, came over. The man whom I talked to before came over. You see that whom? is between parentheses. It means it is optional. For example, if I say, the man I talked to before came over. The sentence is correct. Okay, second one. The company is small. Let us introduce an adjective close, which, again, between parentheses. And I add a subject. He works at. The company which he works at is small. If I remove that, it is correct. Okay, third one. The letters are essential. So, the letters that she delivered here are essential. I added a subject. That is why it became an object. All right. The people can start. The people whom? You brought their IDs. So in this case, you brought their IDs. Okay? Can start. All right. You see? The sentences are perfectly fine without the relative pronouns. All right. Let's have a quick task. Spot the mistakes in the following. 
and you have a mass of three. Number one, that is the bike which bought today. Okay, find the exact spot to add something. All right, have five seconds. All right, let's spot the, the place where we can add something there. All right, the missing is here. It is missing a subject, a subject. I, he, she, it, any other subject, okay? So, if you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two, these hats whom he purchased are nice. It is missing something, find it, five seconds. All right, let's check. The answer is this. These hats, instead of whom, okay, it is missing a pronoun for things, like which or that. So I remove whom. I put the missing part, which is which or that. All right, three. Let's read that, the book he read yesterday. All right, spot the mistake. Okay, let's check. The answer is, ah, again, wrong pronoun. Say, uh, you don't place it here, you place it somewhere else. Let's check. Let's read that, the book. No, you say, let's read the book that. You place it right here. That he read yesterday. Now, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. That's number three. All right, in your notebooks, answer the following. A, combine the sentences and change the second sentence to an adjective clause, okay? Like the example. And you have a mark of four. I like the blog. You posted it on the website. Now, the second sentence, you have to change it to an adjective clause. Let's check the model. The model says, I like, I liked the blog that you Okay, that you posted on the website, on the website. Okay, all right. Now let's let's do uh, another example. Okay, so I added that. Number two, S she suggested an idea. Full stop. The idea could solve all of our problems. Again, the second sentence you have to change it to an adjective clause. A third one. Those are the two people. Dot. Uh, full stop, they won the contest. Four, they gave the job to the man. Full stop, Osama recommended him. Okay, Four, fifth one, Jamila is looking forward to the business trip. Full stop, she's taking a business trip next month. Now you have to combine them and change the second sentence to an adjective clause. And you have three minutes.
Let's jump to the model answer. Number two, she suggested an idea that or which, you can use both of them, could solve all of our problems. Number two, uh, number three, those are the two people who or that won the contest. Number four, they gave the job to the man whom, or you can say that, or you can say no pronoun, you can just take it off. Osama recommended. Number five, Jamila is looking forward to the business trip that, or you can choose which or no pronoun, he's taking next month. All right, let's jump to task number four. Okay, in your notebooks, answer the following question. Write four sentences using adjective clauses. Use two relative pronouns as subjects and other two as objects, like the example below. And you have a mark of eight. The example says, this is the day that comes after a long holiday. Your task is simple. Write four sentences like this, two with adjective, uh, two with the pro uh, relative pronouns as subjects, and two as objects. And you have three minutes. Now let's jump to the modded answer. But before you do that, let's use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, 
No spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's go over the model answers for question B. Number one, the boy whose bike was stolen was about to fall. This sentence should be different to yours, but please compare them both. Number two, that tree that bore some fruit is a mango tree. Number three, this is the phone my father bought on my birthday. Number four, the studio where you have taken your photos in before is a bit expensive. Compare both sentences, use the self-correcting tools, and give yourself a mark. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back plus two marks for finishing the lesson and calculate your final mark. Now, you are able to use the adjective clauses in writing sentences. And you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% perfect answers, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 marks or more, then you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or lower than that, it means 15 marks or lower, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.